I hate my father. No, that's dumb. Hi, right, son. I thought I heard the truck. Hey, Pop. I love you. Huh? I love you. Hey, you better come on in the house here and lie down and might have a touch of that fever. No, no, there's nothing wrong with me. You all right? I'm fine, Pop. Oh, I tell you. Hey, how come you, you got your couch made up like a bed? Well, I thought when you got home, you'd be too sick to go upstairs. Of course you did. That's another thing I love about you, Pop, the concern that you feel for me. I love you, 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 I love you. Say, what's, what's happening? You act like you've been hit by a sugar truck. There's nothing wrong with me, Pop. Look at this. I feel great. You know, I went down to the doctor, and he gave me a new lease on life. I feel fat. Look what? at look at this. Tennis, anyone? Huh? Well, what else did the doctor say? I don't want to talk about it. I've got a headache. <laughs> All right. Continue, please. I can't say it. I'm, I'm so ashamed. Oh, of course you can say it. We're so close to an answer. Go on, please. Look, tell me, what I say to you, is it going to be in the strictest of confidence? It's in the strictest of confidence. This, this room is our kingdom of privacy, where we can say and discuss our innermost thoughts and secrets. All okay. right, then. All right. I'll say it. All right, good. The reason I don't love my husband is... Yes? Is... I love you. Yes, me. Well, that's Ms. nice, lady. Now get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, Mrs. Neely, you don't have to go now. You don't have to go. Mrs. Neely, come back here. Is... Do you know what you've just done? I'm sorry, Doc, but my son is more important to me than that lady. She was almost at a breakthrough. Breakthrough this. <laughs> now, who are you? I'm Fred G. Sanford. And they told me downstairs that you the doctor to talk to my son. Oh, yes, 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 I did. Well, what did you tell him, Doc? Exactly what do you mean? I mean, my son came home acting, you know, he was... Uh... <laughs> well, exactly what did he say? He said, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you. Oh, Mr. Sanford. Yeah. Well, perhaps if I got to know you a little better, uh, then perhaps I could help your son. Why don't you lie down on the couch? Uh, I, I, I don't think I, I, I want to know you that well. Uh, Mr. Sanford, just, just lie down on the couch. Now, see, I help people by getting them to relax and say exactly what's on their mind. Now, go ahead, lie down on the couch. Okay. Now, I know this might seem a little bit strange to you. Relax. <clears throat> but uh, we have a way of getting people to relax by playing a word game. Oh, you don't play a game? Yeah. I love games. Did you ever play uh, Pin the Muse Tail on Esther's face? <laughs> I'll say a word, and you say the first thing that comes into your mind, all right? Okay, Doc. Okay. Esther. Swamp. <laughs> uh, telephone. Bill. Love. Money. <laughs> Women. Where? No. <laughs> Mr. Sackle. Mr. Sackle, no. No, no I, I think that uh, we should play something else. I think we should do uh, Let's see. Let's try some ink spots. Ink spots? Yes. Oh, sure. And would I be sure that this is love beyond compare? 